Hi, Alex Anderson, City Visco Park Ranger. Today I want to take a few moments of your time and talk a little bit about some safety out and about in the wilderness, um, especially when it comes to bear and cougar. So depending on the time of year that you're watching this video, that might be a time when they're very active. So we want to make sure that, you know, even though these encounters can be very rare, um, we want to make sure you know what to do just in case you do come across something like this. With both bear and cougar, honestly, you can kind of take the same course of action, really. You want to not turn your back or run. You don't want to imitate any kind of prey behavior. Um, and basically, you want to make yourself look as big as possible. So if you have a backpack or a jacket, you can kind of hold up over your head. That's a really good strategy. Um, you want to make noise. You want to just basically show that animal that you are not to be messed with. If you are traveling in bear country, it's always advisable to carry bear spray. Even if you don't need to use it, it's always just better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. If you do encounter a situation where a bear is not leaving you alone and is getting too close, you may need to deploy that bear spray to, to deter them from getting any closer. A great strategy is to hike in small groups. Um, make noise when you're when you're hiking. You don't necessarily need to be that person on the trail with the boombox. We don't we don't want that, but we we do want you just to make you know very average noise, conversation, that kind of thing, um, just to kind of let them let the animals know that you're in the area, um, and so you don't have sort of a surprise encounter. It's important. Um, a lot of times we might see these creatures, especially bears, from a distance. Um, we want to give them as much space as possible. We don't want to antagonize them or approach them at all. Um, if you do see one, just give it plenty of space and, and maybe consider going a different direction <laughs> um, just to av avoid a negative encounter um, in general. And with all of this, it's really important to remember that we are visitors in their home. Um, it really is. It really is their backyard and not ours. So. Um, just hiking with that, that sort of sense of awareness and, and knowing that it's up to you as the human being to, to sort of avoid these encounters. As always, we want folks to stay safe out on our trails and in our parks, um, so get out there and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.